Good morning and welcome to Awaken Aware. I'm Nick Angel. It's uh, now 11.08 and uh, I'm going to go a lot. I'm just jumping in here because I really want to take this full minute for 11.11 and on the 11.11 day in 2020 and uh, put some positive energy out there. But I also want to take a minute and uh, recognize the veterans and soldiers that are uh, that that gave their lives, their time, and their service on this Veterans Day. So thank you guys for your service. Um, I just want to, I'm a veteran myself, and I have nothing but love for all our veterans uh, from every branch of service. Um, so anyhow, good morning. I'm Nick Angel, if you're just joining me, I see you. What's up, Jazzy Jeffrey Whiteside? What's up, my brother? How you doing? I'm glad to see you joining me this morning. So uh, it's now 11.09. Um, about a minute here. I'm going to take a second and uh, just explain what we're going to do for 11.11 just for that one minute. Um, it's good to see you, man. Wait for some other people. Hopefully they'll join us. I know I'm starting a little bit early. Just listen to some chill beats for a second. Have a sip of tea. Mm. What do we got here? says dream yeah let me see what this tea tag says says spread the light be the lighthouse exactly that's what's up that's that's what i'm talking about be the lighthouse so this morning we're going to be the light it's 11 to 10 we're just going to take a moment of mindfulness in 11 at 11 11 if you're joining me i hope you have the time to be able to just close your eyes for just just a couple seconds and we're going to reach for what's called the perfect feeling thought and the perfect feeling thought is whatever your highest ideals are for yourself or whatever or any anybody else but with no limitations zero limitations you can have any resources anytime the amount of whatever you need whoever needs to be there in the place that you want to be you just take a second and uh, reach for that perfect feeling thought and we're going to send that out into the universe at this quantum hour at 11 11 on the 11 11 hour this does not happen every day so this is uh, a once a year event and or excuse me twice a year event because it does happen and it actually it happens every hour on the hour uh all around the world today so there are multiple times for it but in just a moment here here it is it's 11 11 so let's just take a moment and reach for our perfect feeling thought Yes, yes. Thank you for joining me. If you're just joining me, I'm Nick Angel, and this is Awake and Aware. It's now 11-11, and uh, what a beautiful day it is. Uh, it's a happy Veterans Day to the veterans. And uh, right now, just use your energy, your mind, your spirit, and get your best feeling self to put it out to the universe. And um, track to yourself what's coming to you in this quantum hour. It's We don't get this opportunity often, so... I have a lot of love for everybody that showed up in this show today. Glad you guys are here. If you're just joining me. Thanks for joining. So um, just, there we go. That was 11-11 on 11-11. Thanks for joining me. Okay. So I am taking callers. My number has popped up down there. I didn't mean for that to pop up so soon. But I'm going to be give, doing a giveaway during the show. Uh, I'm going to be giving away one of these really cool Awaken Aware t-shirts uh, to the very first caller, but the call line's not open yet. So, uh, I'll tell you in just a minute where, when that opens up, but the very first caller will get one of these awaken aware t-shirts and maybe the color of their choice, or maybe it'll be just black, just like this. Um, so if you're just joining me, um, Nick Angel, this is awake and aware, and, uh, I'll take a second and tell you what the show's all about in just a minute, but let me just roll this intro just I'm up.
All right, guys, if you're just joining us, this is Awake and Aware, and I am Nick Angel. And uh, we started this broadcast just a little bit before 11.11, and today is, if you hadn't already realized, is uh, 11.11 Veterans Day. Um, And that's a special day. It's a quantum day. So I thought, what better day to launch a a web series, um, first episode, first season. It's a lot of ones, right? So had to get out here and do it. I was planning a whole bunch of other things. Um, we are, uh, um, you know, in COVID time, so supposed to have a co-host, but we can't really do that at the moment because of COVID. Um, so we're going to have in the future, going to have a lot of interviews, um, from a lot of high flying people who are keeping their energy all through the day. And that's what awake and aware is all about. Uh, let me just tell you the meaning of awake and aware, uh, the word consciousness is defined by somebody that is awake and aware of their surroundings. And that means uh, to a person who, who believes in a holistic way of life, uh, that means that we are awake and aware of ourselves. We are awake and aware of the people around us. We are awake and aware of how we affect the people around us and other people affect us, the things that we put into our bodies, the routines that we have, the habits that we have. Um, all of those things affect us and affect our energy throughout the day. Um, so just going to move a little chill music in the background, kind of like that. It keeps me going throughout the day. Um, Hey, Sabrina, thanks for joining us. Uh, congratulate. Thank you very much. Jazz. Oh man. I appreciate it. I'm glad you liked the intro and, uh, Beth. Hey, right on. I appreciate all the hearts. I'm glad you guys are just joining us. So what I want to do is really have a discussion here um, about how to keep our energy throughout the day. And what that means to me is you wake up and, you know, a lot of us struggle to get out of bed. And uh, hi, Amanda, a lot of us struggle to get out of bed. And um, then, you know, we go to work, you know, we, we, a lot of people have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee or go to the gym. Um, there's just so many different routines that people have in the morning to get themselves going. Um, but I found a lot of people also crash come one o'clock or after the food they eat at their lunch break. Um, and then after, um, that we get home, we have the long commute. Some of, some of us have the long commute, but you have the long commute, have to do a little shopping, a little cooking, you eat, watch a little TV, and then you're just done for the day. Um, but. I have found that there are all kinds of little things that we can do to um, adjust this so that we have a lot more energy. Um, You know, so, hey, if you want to go out clubbing after work, after dinner, after work, you'd still have the energy to do that. Or if you have a project that you want to work on, if you want to work on your own web series after you've been working for eight hours um, and come home and do your own thing, there are ways to maintain your energy. And over the years, I have found a bunch of different things And some of these I can share with you, and I believe that you guys will find some value in that. But the the, the cool thing that I have found is um, all of you guys have your own tips and tricks and life hacks that are getting you through the day. And I have found that, like, I really just want to put all these things together and share these. And that way, if we can all um, accumulate this knowledge that we'd all be better for it, Uh, read a book um, called Tools for Titans by Tim Ferriss that uh, was a conglomerate of information from a bunch of wealthy people, high successful athletes, how to just be great at life um, at the highest level. But uh, And that made me realize it's like, well, what about the people who aren't even ready for any of that? And I'm not saying that you need to be at the bottom. But the point is, is how do you get to the point where you feel like you want to, to be your best? Um, you know, if you're just having to pay bills or take care of your kids or take care of yourself or make it through depression or whatever may be uh, uh, draining your energy or a stressful situation or somebody's health problems or your own health problems, how can you keep your energy through the day? Um, so you can t- want to take on some of these extracurricular activities or, um, just, or just to be able to enjoy the day or your surroundings or your work or your environment, or even just your, the time with yourself. Um, so, you know, I, I think everything starts in the morning 
Um, and that's where one of the very first things that I found is, is the morning routine and uh, starts your day off. I'm kind of a, a firm believer in that the very first moments of your day really set up the rest of your day. I'm not saying that you can't turn your day around, um, but waking up with and getting out of bed immediately is probably the best thing you can do to keep your energy at a high level through the rest of the day. That snooze, that going back to bed, that that is the first thing. So I'm just throwing that out, out as a tip. It, it's not going to happen for all of us. Some of us absolutely need the snooze. Some of us have to have... Um, uh, that extra 50 minutes, because <laughs> we know it ain't the nine minutes on the first news. If you're a snoozer, we know you hit it four or five times. You probably set the alarm for, for 445, but you don't have to get up till 630, huh? Um, I used to be that way. It's okay. But I have found that my most productive days come the days that I, I break myself out of bed and act like it's the best day that I'm ever going to have. And the funny thing is, is, is you have to think if you're going to have the best day of your life, don't you think you would have woke up with, immediately and had the best moment of your life saying, you know what, I'm going to take on this day. So the best day, so to have the best day of your life, you have to wake up like it's going to be the best day of your life. So that's the first tip. So Lisa, Lisa jumped in and she said, coffee, exclamation point. I agree. So, um, a lot, a lot of some people know or may not know that I own a coffee company called Guess What. I'm not plugging, it, I'm not plugging it, but it is called Awake and Aware, and it is Awake and Aware Coffee. I'm not pushing my products on the show, um, but I am no longer a coffee drinker. I sell coffee, but I don't drink coffee, um, and it's been a big part of my energy regimen um, for myself because I was a potted day or a pothead coffee drinker. Um, and as you can imagine, drinking too much of anything, caffeine's a hell of a drug. I know that's not what Rick James said, but I'm saying it. Caffeine's a hell of a drug. And it's, from what I hear, it is 10 times more potent than cocaine. So yeah, I don't recommend anybody drinking a pot a day, but I won't get into all the, there's tons and tons of research of how caffeine affects you and actually can really lower your energy. Ooh, I like this one. Meditation for breakfast. Absolutely. So that's, an, that's, that's, uh, med we, we could, I will do a whole show on meditation. Of course, I will probably do multiple shows on meditation. Um, but I, I like to think of meditation as, uh, an old school chalkboard in a schoolhouse and all the kids have been writing on it all day and erasing their numbers and, and it gets real foggy and somebody's actually got to clean the, 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 the chalkboard at the end of the week or hopefully at the, the end of the day, but they do it with water and soap and you get a whole new fresh chalkboard. I feel like meditation it, when we sleep and we rest, we get, it's like hitting it with the regular eraser. But when we meditate, it's like washing the chalkboard and it just frees up our mind. It frees, it makes us less stressful. Um, and, you know, there, there's so there's I, I could just go on. I could spend, fill this whole show on the benefits of meditation. Meditation is absolutely the sauce of life, um, and it is absolutely, in my opinion, one of the uh, quintessential keys for elevating your energy, um, adjusting your mood, um, resetting your uh, eternal clock, um, heightening your awareness. <laughs> And one of the keys to consciousness is, is clearly through meditation. So I, I, I'm aware that probably some people aren't, aren't meditating yet or haven't used it. And, and people have different takes on meditation. And I'm very interested on in what your takes are, are in meditation. So if you have uh, any uh, uh, tools, whether they be electronic, whether they're eye bags for, for meditation, whether it's uh, my guru or one of my guru, many gurus, suggested to me that you cannot meditate unless you do yoga. And, uh, <laughs> well, I was, I was in a state of meditating five, six times a day before I even met this guru. Um, and he brought me to a heightened level of it, but I feel like you can do all, I have friends who tell me that music is meditation for them or going to work is meditation or the drive home is meditation for them. And it has a therapeutic cathartic effect for them. And, and God bless them if, if it's working for them. 
Um, for me, I have to lay down for five to 10 minutes. I can do it sitting, seated, uh, and clearly anytime I do yoga and then do meditation, I like to say I get a little more action <laughs> from, from my meditations. And, uh, you know, one of the things that, that I first found uh, about meditation is that my timing started to become impeccable, meaning that I start, I could wake up at 7 a.m. without an alarm clock or um, for some reasons I happen to just look at my phone at 11 11 333 um, my internal clock has been reset and I, I tend to uh, I don't want to say I consciously know what time it is but I do take cues from time without actually having to pay attention to the clock or be a slave to the clock um, so we were talking coffee is a big one for sure um, so I think they say half of America right now is drinking coffee, um, two cups a day, two cups a day of coffee. So it, that makes it the number one drunk beverage besides water in the world, actually. Um, I know that's that because I've looked it up. Um, that's crazy when you think about it. <laughs> it's not beer. It's not alcohol. and It's not wine. It's not tea. And tea was was the number one drunk beverage for a very long time as well. Um, but coffee surpassed tea back in the 80s. And, um, you know, after coffee, I got to go outside and walk in nature. Uh, love it. Absolutely. Needs to move. Skin needs light and air. Absolutely. See, so coffee and caffeine are great. I won't go into the negative effects of coffee or caffeine. Um, we'll just keep it at the positive, but yeah, if you're, if you're drinking a lot of coffee, you should probably do a little research and see what you can do to help yourself. Um, there are new things out there that can help with the 1 PM crash with caffeine. Um, simple things called reishi mushrooms and, and white lion mushrooms. Uh, they are not the kind of mushrooms that you normally eat. Um, they don't have much of a taste and they really don't, you can take them as a pill or you can mix them with your coffee, but they absolutely help you keep a even keel of energy throughout the day. If you are a coffee drinker, so you don't get that 1 PM crash, or if you've had two or three cups, um, you can take it, you can take it before, um, you drink coffee up to an hour before, or even up to an hour. It's better the sooner you take it than the later. Um, but these things work and I, I, that's one of the reasons I started the company. That's why I started awake and aware. Um, I had that 1 PM crash every day and it was, it was brutal. I was not, my creative energy was down. Um, so let me, let me see here. So another thing that my friend Lisa from San Francisco, one of my earliest friends. And when I say earliest, she was there when I was born. Um, Lisa's an old family friend and she says, after coffee, I've got to go outside and walk in nature if possible. Can't start my day without it. Body needs to move. Skin needs light and air. So we as humans, uh, need those things. Absolutely. Um, I, I see Steve said, he said, couldn't imagine life without caffeine. Just to, uh, to be clear, I quit drinking coffee, but I am now a tea, tea aficionado. I, I drink two to three cups of tea a day ranging from herbal teas to green teas. Um, I drink the green tea for antioxidant. It does have a high caffeine level and I do drink a, a black tea usually within a chai. And then I switch over to decaf for the rest of the day. If I drink any more teas. Um, so I want to point out that the thing about air, uh, we as human beings have this hierarchy of needs and, uh, we often prioritize the worst ones. Um, most of the day we are thinking about food. Well, uh, <laughs> I can say that's what most people are thinking about most of the day. Um, but that, that other one's not a need. Um, so what, what happens is we, we, we're usually searching for food. Um, but listen, we can go 30 days without food. I'm not going to say you're gonna be happy if you, you know, we usually get hangry if you haven't eaten by 1 PM. Um, but usually a healthy person, person can live for 30 days without food. A person can go three days without water. Count one, two, three. Yeah. 
three days without water. So uh, and usually in that second day, you're pretty dehydrated and you, you're probably not functioning at your highest self. Um, some people have been able to go further without it, but they have trained and these people are professionals. Um, but the thing that we, and the other is, uh, our homeostasis, meaning if it gets too hot, we die, or if it gets too cold, we die. So we have to have this, uh, set air range that is conducive to our well being. Um, but we can't go without breathing for more than three minutes now of course there are again professional there, there are exceptions to the rule there are f- free divers that can last for a half hour on one breath um and there are people who can last even longer if they saturate their their body with oxygen first um but the average person is going to pass out after three minutes <laughs> and if they don't actually get oxygen after that point they will die so I would say out of food, water, shelter, clothing, what's the most important breathing? And guess what? You've all taken a cooking class or at least learned how to cook a meal, uh, spend your days working to get money to, to, to clothe yourself, shelter yourself. Um, and we're always in a hustle to find a clean water supply, whether it be from our house or bottles of water, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but how many times do you take any time for breathing in your day? Right, exactly. And it's the most important thing. And it, it baffles me because it, we, we live in a culture that does not prioritize breathing. Um, you know, I, I don't know about every school, but every school I went to never once said, hey, this is how you breathe. They just say, in through your nose, out through your mouth. And um, so... Jazzy says, when I start to get anxiety throughout the day, I realize my breathing is off and I try to bring it back and around with deep breaths. Awesome. So, yeah, absolutely. Breathing can can affect anxiety. Uh, as a matter of fact, it can cause anxiety. It can heighten the symptoms of anxiety if we're not breathing properly. Um, and what happens is, is in this day and age, we tend to have this slumped over way of working where we're typing and looking down at a computer or and or looking at our devices and we're doing it we're kind of doing this and it's closing off our diaphragms it's pushing down on our lungs and we do the shallow breathing that we're not even aware of because we're we're subconsciously breathing but we've never really taken the time to actually teach ourselves to productively breathe or breathe in a way that helps our body and saturates us with oxygen So uh, here's another tip that I'm going to share with you guys that uh, when I used to lift regularly and manage a gym that I would teach bodybuilders and without any drugs, without any effort, these guys could put on another plate just from doing this breathing exercise that I'm about to show you. And uh, it's really, really simple. And it's not something that you've got to set aside a minute for. It's not something that you've got to uh, be specially trained for. It's not going to give you a headache. Um, it's just really simple. So let me show you how it works. So we have these different chambers in our body that can expand our lungs. One is the upper diaphragm where your ribs are. If you look the easiest way to see this one is to put your two fingers right here, feel your ribs and then take a breath in through your nose and then breathe out through your mouth. You just do that three times. Thanks for listening to me breathe. Yes, I brushed my teeth. Um, so that's one. And then the next would be just a little bit lower. It's not, it's not, the, it's not, uh, um, the first is up here. Seconds down here. So excuse me, I, I made that incorrect. The first is the upper diaphragm. You can feel that by lifting your chest. And then the next is by expanding your ribs. So each one you want to do three breaths into the nose, out through the mouth. And then the next is a belly breathe where we would inhale through the nose and out through the mouth, but fill up your belly. So do it. It's just nine breaths. That's it. It shouldn't take anybody more than 15 seconds to take nine breaths. Um, And if you've done that, I bet you feel not lightheaded, but you felt a rush of oxygen to your body just from doing that. That 
gives you energy. Your body, when it's using its muscles, is using oxygen. So when your oxygen level is low, is your muscles feel less uh, um, uh, strong. They, they just don't really have the strength that they do. So real athlete, like uh, um, Olympic athletes, um, drink beet juice before doing any activities and one of the reasons that they do beet juice is their blood is more oxygenated so it's like a, a life hack that um olympic uh, uh and, and actually boxers do it too they drink a whole glass of beet juice and the reason they're doing that is they're oxygenating their blood and it allows them to i mean these people perform 20 percent better from a glass of beet juice so the athletes that aren't doing that I mean, that's just a simple life hack. Like that, that's a biohack. Um, there's a lot of good stuff out there today that will um, make you perform better, but has zero side effects. We're not, I, I don't, I don't push drugs. I don't push, uh, you know, caffeine is a drug, um, but I, I don't recommend overdoing that we do realize that a little bit of caffeine can it can uh release serotonin and regulate your dopamine and make you feel good um on that level and also caffeine can get your blood pumping when your blood's pumping you are producing you're getting more oxygen to your heart to your brain and that's why we feel usually more for more creative um, with caffeine so imagine doing a little breathing exercise when you're feel right before you you know, you're used to getting tired when you're tired, when you're working out right before you go for a run, because a lot of times people run and they just get into their natural rhythm of breathing. But doing that nine, that nine stage breathing, uh, I have found and, and shared with many people and they have found that it, it really is like uh, taking a shot. <laughs> it's, a, it's a natural steroid, but that just shows how, um, how far we off far off from the way we were actually supposed to breathe. And nobody teaches us that, but that's one of the reasons I really recommend yoga to people is uh, that a lot of teachers will teach breath exercises and the whole process of yoga should be, or if it's not being taught that way um, is to breathe into the, to the, to the stretches, into the poses. So um, they're not actually stretches. They're not actually poses. They are bre breaths. So wanted to share that since, since, uh, going out into the sun and air, um, let's see here. Hey Tish, glad to see you. What's up? Vincent, Vincent says, I'm trying to switch over to tea gradually. It's not easy. Yeah, brother. I feel you. Um, I actually found out I had high blood pressure at the age of 40 and the blood pressure medication that my doctor put me on helped me get past the headaches of, of caffeine withdrawal. So it was kind of simple for me. But before that, it was absolutely, absolutely difficult. Um, but one of the things that I can recommend is taking a double dose of tea bags. Take a black tea bag and a green tea bag when you switch. And that's about the equivalent of a cup of coffee and caffeine. So that way you're not dropping caffeine levels. Uh, another thing with tea is that you can do sugar and milk just like you do with a cup of coffee. It's delicious. Um, another thing I do is I use coffee creamers like uh, French vanilla coffee creamers. I put it in my tea. Um, another one that I'm very fond of is called chai tea. And uh, it was made by a guy named Yogi Bhajan. And it is uh, some simple ingredients. It is um, cardamom, cinnamon, black pepper, uh, black tea, um, and maybe a few other ingredients that I'm missing. Um, and, uh, I like to add French vanilla creamer to my chai tea. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like a coffee, but it's a third of the, it's 45 milligrams of caffeine. So it's, it's a third of the amount of caffeine, uh, when I drink chai. So if you're used to drinking a cup of coffee, you could have three cups of chai and get the same amount of caffeine, but not in one shot. And you're less likely to crash if you spread out your caffeine consumption. Um, you know, one, another thing that is, uh, I'm, I'm going to open up a phone call here in a minute. I'm just going to throw out another thing is if you're not taking a multivitamin, I highly recommend taking a multivitamin. 
Um, and the reason for that is not because you're going to get super strong from that or it's going to get what it does is it supplies whatever you might be missing. And it's often that people have some type of deficiency from whether they eat the same foods regularly or their body's not regulating something properly or they're just missing something. Um, so if you're taking a multivitamin there's a very good chance that you may, uh, supplement something that you might be missing. Otherwise the rest of the nutrients, they kind of just get thrown away. Your body, your body's only going to use what it's, um, Holly. Nice. I'm glad you, you like the, the, the nine chamber breathing technique. Uh, it's, it's just nine breaths, man. Like a lot of times people, like I have this little app on my watch that remind from, from calm, um, an app that a mindfulness app, I'm not plugging them, but it's pretty good. I think it won app of the year a couple of years ago on Apple. Uh, but it reminds me to breathe for a minute. And I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, sometimes it's just too difficult. The minute, you know, taking the minute for mindfulness is good, but I would rather be able to do it on my time versus when my watch prompts me to do it. But it is a good reminder. And if you can, if, if you did that nine breath every hour, your body would be more saturated with oxygen. You would, you know, I can't give you any statistic I throw at you would just be made up. Like, listen, you're going to be 20% better performing at your life. If you breathe nine deep breaths every hour, I couldn't tell you that, but look, you could definitely, 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 uh, increase your oxygen, which does a bunch of things. One, it makes you feel stronger. makes you feel more awake and more alert, um, can increase creativity, um, I mean, and actually, and if you're at the gym, yes, you can lift heavier. Um, and I, I mean, I generally, anytime I lift heavy, I, I do one of those breathing exercises before a set and I, I it's cake for me. Um, and actually it was a, a, a Thai masseuse that showed that to me. I guess it's been 15 years now and I've been using that ever since. Take a sip right here. All right. So, um, I'm going to put uh, these numbers up and um, some of you guys already have my number. So <laughs> I'm going to put up a different number for you guys to call. And the fir- we're, we're going to try to take a caller here. And the first person that calls is going to get one of these really cool Awaken Wear t-shirts. This is an eco tee. It's, a, uh, it's fully sustainable. It's made out of sustainable cotton. And it's also made with recycled water bottles. I got to tell you, I hate water bottles. I'm glad they're being recycled, but I don't want to use water bottle. We got to recycle what's here, but I really wish we could get off water bottles. So to all you guys out there, if you can just spend $5, $10, $4, go to the dollar store and get your reusable water bottle and our earth would be so much better for it. All right, I'm going to put up this number. I'm going to take a sip of tea and I'll put up this number and uh, see how quickly we get a call. So anybody calling in, uh, you got to stay on the phone with me for a few minutes. Don't just call in and say, hi, where's my T-shirt? But I'd like to pick your brain and uh, see if you have a morning routine, if you use uh, some type of su- uh, uh, supplement, and if you... Uh, Oh man, we could do this every day. Listen, I'm going to commit to do this every week. Um, that's my commitment right now is to do this every week. But look, I, I, if I have the ability, I will definitely do it more often. So, um, I'm just going to throw this number up. Take a sip of tea see who wants this shirt bad enough that they're going to put themselves out there. So I might have a couple questions for you and hope you share any of your regiment that helps you keep energy through the day. Mm, feeling the positive energy, my good brother, man. Absolutely. Bro, <laughs> you, you want to, you're a meme Lord, bro. Like if y'all don't know if, if y'all not following jazzy, y'all should be following. He's one of those guys that puts out really good energy. Oh, oh, we got a call. I don't know who this is. Let's see who it is. Just a second. 
Hello, welcome to Awake and Aware. Who who have I got here? It's Jazzy. Jazzy, what's up? Nice. It's good, bro. Everything. Let me turn let me turn this up just a tad so everybody can hear you just fine. Can you hear me okay? <laughs> oh yeah, every everybody's trying to get in now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm glad you was the uh the the first person here, brother. I'm gonna get you one of these shirts afterwards man so um if you guys don't know uh jazzy is i've been friends with this guy for like a year now and he's uh he's he's one of these people who inspire me on facebook a lot of people follow me on facebook and know that i I post a bunch of crazy stuff Oh, oh we lost him let's see if we can get him back jazzy i want you to call back in if uh somehow we lost you but you hang in here if you if you call back in you're still gonna get this shirt Sorry, brother. Call back in. I got you. I ain't going nowhere. There we go. I might actually, if everybody's still hanging out here, I will probably take another call later and see. uh, There we go. There we go. You're back. Right on. (laughs) So I was just saying that uh, I might take another call here and I might even give another another T-shirt away because we got so many people here joining us and and engaging and I love it and this is like the the beauty of this this is a community and as we share you know what we've got to make it through the day to stay awake and aware to stay conscious and and just help each other out like this is like I I, I see all of us struggling to get through the day it doesn't matter what your regimen is or who you are you know we all put up a good right. front on facebook man <laughs> <laughs> but like 20, <laughs> right, 20, right. 20, 2020s trying. So jazz, man, t- tell me, uh, uh, how you doing today? First off, man, I'm doing, man, I always want to stay positive. I'm doing very well, man. I'm, I'm tired. Like that's why when you were speaking to me with the, uh, you know, ways to find more energy throughout the day, man, cause I work from 7 AM to 9 30. So three days in a row. And this is like the third day. So, man, I am, I'm tired, man. I'm, I am, but, you know, I, I'm grateful and blessed to, you know, be at work and still be working through this pandemic and still, you know, be able to, uh, you know, be around good energy and help other, you know, recovering addicts. Man, I, I love it. Mm. Nice. I'm, I'm glad you hit that, that point. So uh, uh, J- Jazzy works in, in the recovery world and helps people find recovery and uh, uh, find their way back from addiction, from uh, uh, mind, mood and altering substances, man. And this, I love this guy for that. He's a uh, uh, he's always giving back, being of service. And, um, he's, he's part of his community and he helps so many, so many people. So this is one of these positive energy brothers that like, if you, if you need a, a mentor or somebody to just keep plugging you full of positive energy to keep you through, I, I highly suggest that you follow him. So put a plug to him. If you're, if you see him on Facebook, that, man. Man, I appreciate send, that, man. send him a like and a follow for sure. So, uh, what's, what's appreciate your morning routine? It, like what, what do you, what do you do in the morning? Like I realize any routine we have, we may not get to do every day, but uh, you've probably right. found something that can that, that can uh, uh, get you uh, an extra step in the day. What you got going in the morning? My my thing is is it's so you know when uh, coincidences happen anymore, I don't even like get surprised. But it's, it's wild how you were talking about you know you wake up at four thirty when you don't have to get out of bed till about six, and I literally it was like you were like watching me in the morning. I literally do that. I wake wake up at four thirty. Then I make sure I like pray and I meditate before I even, you know, you know, get up and go to the bathroom. That's like my, you know, make sure I get my mind right before I go out of bed. And then I've been like on the gym uh, tip, you know, recently, man. So like, you know, the morning meditation and the prayer, you know, I make sure I talk to God and, you know, get my, get my mind right. And then, you know, try to get my body right in the gym, man. And that just gives me a sense of accomplishment. You know what I mean? Like I already accomplished something before, you know, the sun really even came up, you know, and that's like, starts my day off on a positive note, man. It just makes me feel good about myself, which in turn makes me, you know, able to help other people feel good about themselves. You know, when I come into work, I have to have a, uh, you know, positive attitude, a smile on my face and be feeling good because obviously some people that are early in recovery and, you know, maybe still detoxing or whatever aren't feeling themselves, you know, feeling too good. So, you know, I make sure I, you know, hit my, my, my knees and I, like you said, I don't even like 
meditate or pray like on my knees, you know, all the time. Sometimes I'm laying down or I'm sitting, you know, crisscross applesauce or, you know, and I do my, my mantra. My mantra is blessed, abundant, and protected. You know, that's my thing mm. I try to, you know, repeat when I'm uh, meditating, you know, because those what, three what, things I, I feel are very important. To me, what, one more time. Blessed. Blessed, abundant, and protected. And protected. Blessed, abundant, and protected. It's a mantra, guys, if you heard that. So if you guys don't know what a mantra is, it's something that you repeat to yourself over and over again, and it takes hold in your psyche. And um, right. so keep going, man. That's good stuff. Bless abundant. Yeah, some, sometimes when I'm, when I'm even saying that, right, it, 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 I love how you, you, you're like, you know, sparking more thoughts in my head. When I, I like, you know, I'm meditating and I'll go off into a thought or like thinking about what I'm going to do towards the day. And I still hear that, like that mantra, like it's almost like in the background, you know what I mean? Like cause when I keep repeating it, then I come back to it. And then, you know, I just want to put that energy out there because I want to remain blessed. I want to remain abundant. And like, you know, there's the demons and the devil always trying to take us down. So I want to make sure I protect it. You know what I mean? Like those three things, it's almost like the, uh, the song WAP, but mine's like BOP. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. And then, uh, so once, once you're out the day and you're, you're off to work and you got stuff going and then all of a sudden, you know, everything's, you finally getting into that, uh, uh, groove and then it's like, Oh, it's lunchtime. So then you go and eat. Right. Right. And how, how are you feeling when you come back? What, what are, are you, are you maintaining your energy when you come back? Are you eating high vibrational foods or you find yourself at Wawa eating the, the man, it's, it's, it's funny you said that too, man. I, I try to stay, uh, you know, the, for my fruits and I have like a, uh, smoothie that I call peanut butter and jelly smoothie that I got from one of the uh, places, uh, fruity bowls. Uh, that's my guy, Mike and, uh, uh, Washington township. People should give him a try, but I try to make sure, you know, I get my fruits and my protein and, you know, I'm not much of a vegetable guy, but I try to, you know, uh, at least, at least have one of those like throughout the day. And if not, if I can't get it at lunchtime, like you said, I might have to settle for a while while when I'm on the run or it's busy. But I try to definitely uh, stay mindful of what I put in my body now. You know, like I used to be a fast food McDonald's guy every, you know, every lunch break. But I try my hardest to, you know, only put things in my body that are, are, are good for me now. I'm trying to cut the nicotine habit down. You know, that's like real hard right now. I still am vaping. So I'm trying, you know, it's, it's progress, not perfection. So, you know, I, I, I'm trying to cut down on, you know, more things that are uh, unhealthy for me but yeah after lunch man it's definitely hard the the energy is down and you know i try to get my second win some days are harder than others but you know i just try to remain positive then i like you know look at stuff like your facebook page and try to you know you know be mindful of what i feed my mind you know what i mean because like that's where it all starts for me because if i'm thinking positive thoughts thinking you know with some energy then i feel energized you know like sometimes it's not even about the food it's like you know, I, I get a good dad joke from your page and then I'm laughing and that, you know, gives me some, uh, you know, some more energy throughout the day. Man. Nice. Nice. So that's, that's, uh, so, so, so Jazzy said, Jazz said he's, uh, mindful of what he eats at lunch cause it affects how he feels when he comes back. And, uh, right. you know, I, I used to eat a lot of meat and I, 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 years ago I did the Atkins diet, which is, uh, I think you need as much meat, cheese and eggs as you want but no carbs. And, uh, mm. I lost a lot of weight. And actually at the time I would say there was a stuff on the market called ephedrine, which was just speed. And right. <laughs> I took And that was supposed to take that along with the Atkins diet. And I took that. So of course I was amp full of energy. Um, and that's one of the, the first time and, and I was first introduced to this thing called caffeine and hydrous, which is a water soluble caffeine hits you like a, a shotgun and most pre pre mm. most pre-workouts have this caffeine in it. So I, I, I highly recommend staying, steering clear of it. A lot of uh, workout mixed workout drinks and even some energy drinks have, you have to look and see it. caffeine and hydrous is not the same thing as regular caffeine. This is stuff that doesn't right. burn off slow. It, it hits you immediately. Um, so that's when I really learned that maybe I need to pay attention to what I'm eating and, and taking, uh, after gaining that caffeine sensitivity, um, along with the food that I was eating. I just, once I stopped taking that, I realized I had no energy and I was getting the itis after every, every piece of chicken, every piece of steak that I was right. eating, every egg, I was done at one o'clock. So, um, 
yeah, I turned to you, you said it, man. Smoothies, like uh, the, they're yeah. they're 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 the bomb. Um, I I like bowls yeah. too. Um, and I'm gonna have to check out this place that you recommended, man. I hope you can you can you drop a uh, drop that in a little chat thing so I have a link to. Um, oh yeah, for sure. Or for remember sure. that, and other people can check it out too if you if you're in the area. Um, I always look for bowls that have sprouts. That's that's my that's been my thing for the last ten years is sprouted food. Um, and the reason for sprouted food is it's still living when you eat it. Um, other foods like right. spinach, kale, they're they're superfoods. Well, spinach isn't a superfood, but kale is. Um, they are superfoods, and, and a superfood is basically just a food, a, a type of food that gives you. Uh, more than one type of nutrients. Like a carrot is not a superfood. It gives you beta carotene. It doesn't have a whole host of other value other than being roughage. Same thing with spinach. It's really good in iron. Um, it is it is a green, so it's good for the kidneys and livers, liver, um, but it's still just a lot of roughage. Kale has a lot more nutrients and affects a whole bunch of different systems in your body. Generally, that's what makes up a superfood is something that can uh, effectively help you. So it's called Frugi Juice and Bowls in Sewell, New Jersey. I'm yeah, not plugging it's right across anybody. from uh, Jefferson Hospital. Jefferson, oh, right uh, on Cross Keys. Right. That, you know what? I'm going to go there today. So I also bought a Ninja. I'm I telling t- you, I tell Mike <laughs> that Jazzy sent you. That's I'll, my guy. He'll take I'll do care that. Of you, I'll do that. Um, do they give you a choice of protein there? Oh yeah, yep, yep. He has all kind of organic protein, and you know he, he has everything, and everything's all natural. And he doesn't believe in any of the, you know, any of the, the BS that they put in stuff. Man, he's all natural. Like that's his whole thing. He's a gym guy too. Nice. I'm definitely gonna check that out, man. I, I really appreciate that. So, yeah, check it so, out, man. I go there like once a day. <laughs> so then, what do you do? Um, what are you doing? Um, after so so now you've come back to work getting through your work day how are you feeling about three o'clock what, what's you know two hours before how do you feel after that is the energy good it's, it's, it's usually down man you know what's funny around like three o'clock even and and sometimes i want to take a nap at work man because i'm at like at a residence like with the client you know they have uh it's like a sober living almost that like you know i manage and take them to doctor's appointments and whatnot so it's like man there's a couch right there and sometimes man i want to sit down and take a nap man i'm not gonna lie like i said i maybe i gotta be more mindful of uh you know the fruits and stuff that i am eating or maybe even the schedule that i'm on but man around that time after waking up at like 4 30 i get a little tired man i do but i try to you know just try to stay up and, and you know get through it you know it'll it'll goes away after a while but it's like that's something i have to work on myself man is you know maintain my energy a little bit more yeah, man. Um, so one of the things that I found at that time is, is so if you're a meditator is, you know, I, I don't know what your work schedule like, but sometimes people get that 15 minute break at, in between the lunch and going home. Um, if you do get that, man, I absolutely just take that five minute meditation. A lot of times people don't have the time right. at work to do the whole 15, but um, it's in a five minute meditation is a little bit simpler if you can cover your eyes. Um, And this is where I got into meditation bags, which is, uh, I don't have one here to show you guys, but I am working on sourcing some. Um, I'll probably even do a giveaway with some meditation bags, but it's just a small cloth bag that's filled with uh, usually soybeans or sobacawa beans. And um, it's a little bit of weight and it's, it's super malleable. Um, it's kind of like something that you would see somebody put around the back of their neck or something, but it's, it, it's rather light and you just put it over your eyes and it adds just the tiniest bit of pressure to your eyes, which makes all the difference in getting to a meditation a, a little bit quicker. Plus you can drop a, a little bit of, uh, essential oil on there so you can pick up any kind of aromatherapy that helps you, whether it be eucalyptus nice. or vanilla or whatever, whatever's floating your boat. Um, but it's five minutes. Right. It's just a simple, but, and it also, it, it helps you block out some of the sensory stuff from the, you know, just closing your eyes. We still are receiving light through our eyes, even with our eyes closed. So, um, right. yeah, absolutely, absolutely recommend a meditation bag. If you don't have one, they're not very expensive. You can even make one yourself. Um, you could probably just put some 
beans in there if you wanted to. Um, and you know, so, so I, I highly recommend them. I've, I've looked for them, um, online they're, they're out there, but they're actually rather hard to get. So if anybody knows a place, okay. um, that can, uh, uh, sell, trust me, I've checked Amazon. They exist, but if you f- have something good that has some Gucci looking stuff, um, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, ja- jazzy and snazzy over here. I kind of like stuff that's not just, you know, it's it can't be yellow polka dotted flower. No, actually, I would I, I dig yellow dope polka dots and flowers, but <laughs> um, I prefer something that, that's a little more masculine. Um, but um, right, right. But so that's one thing that I really is if you can get that five minute meditation, man, it, it'll change. So what when you come back from it, you're not going to be sleepy. See, the, the thing is, is if you get into that 15 med- med- meditation, you're much more risking fall asleep. And the, if you know that right. you're going to stop for five minutes, it, you feel your body says, oh, yeah, I can do that. No problem. Because I still have 10 minutes left in my break, which allows me to feel like I'm doing something for myself and not being at work. Um, so I highly right, recommend definitely. that one. And it's, it, and it's, it's like a, a, a quick once over on the chalkboard, you know, it's, it just kind of, and, and for people who are not used to meditating, meditation is just clearing your mind, but it, it's not just saying, okay, mm-hmm. I'm gonna clear my mind. Cause you're going to have thoughts, words, uh, uh, worries, and all kinds of different things jump up in your mind, but it's, it's just acknowledging those things and then letting them dissipate acknowledging them and letting right. them dissipate. And, and it's, it, it's not a, and when I say acknowledging, it's not like getting down into it or thinking about it. It's just knowing it's there and then letting it, the next thing pop into your, whatever it is. And then from that point, you, mm-hmm. you're, you're, you know, allowing your body and your mind to, to refresh and re reinvigorate. Um, so that, that's a suggestion for you, Jazz, if you have the time. I know that you, I, I, from the type of work that you're in, you may not always get that 15 minutes or the, or even that five minutes to do that. So if anybody right. else got suggestions for Jazz on how to make it from that that uh, three to five neck of the woods, um, you know, where, while he's still moving it, whether it's a, a breathing technique, a journaling technique, whatever – excuse me, whatever it is that he may have that, that you may have out there that's getting you through the three to five, um, you know, let us know, drop it in the, in the message, help, help us out, you know? So, so what, ha- so what about when you get home? How, how you feeling when you're on your, your commute home? See, the, the thing is I'm still not even, I'm about only halfway through my day. Cause then I, I work from 7 a.m. till 9 30 at night. So I, I need really a, a you know pick me up halfway through the day because we still take them to a meeting at night or we yeah. have a house meeting. So I'm still there like literally 14 and a half hours a day. So wow. man, <laughs> like you said, the meditation and just making sure I'm even uh, staying hydrated is my biggest thing now. I used to be a uh, you know big uh, you know just you know vitamin water type some fake fake uh, type energy drinks and Red Bulls and all that, but now I've been drinking mm. water. Like nothing but water, and I, I found that helps me even just feel, you know, not feel is uh, is like icky, you know. what I mean, the lack of a better word, but like water has just like changed, you know, my life. Just saying, drinking nothing but water, even when I'm eating anything else or eating eating meat or Chinese food occasionally, or probably more than I want to admit, but just drinking water with all those meals and just nothing but water all day, that just helps me, uh, you know stay a little more alert and, and stay a little more, uh, even though I'm still tired throughout the day, it just helps me feel better. And like, even like in my mind, it makes me feel better. Cause I know I'm drinking water instead of drinking like soda or, you know, anything with high sugars or anything like that. Yeah. Water, water's a big deal. So, so as we talked about earlier, uh, if you're just joining us, we, we went over, uh, talked about how breath is the most important need for human beings followed by water. Um, you, you really can't, well, actually, at temperature makes a difference, too. So um, thinking about that, if you're not in a comfortable situation like where it's too hot or too cold, um, another thing that I find that really affects people in, in the workplace is the lighting. Um, I used to work right. at a place that had bal- a buzzing ballast above my desk. <laughs> that was the main reason for me quitting that job. They just wouldn't fix it. <laughs> and kept asking them or they did fix it. And then it happened again. And I said, no, I'm good. I'm out. Um, <laughs> I ate them head out. So then, um, 
So yeah, absolutely staying hydrated. One of the things that a lot of people don't know is if you're thirsty, you're already two thirds of the way dehydrated and dehydration right. has a huge effect on us mentally, physically, and even spiritually, um, because we're, we're, we're just not feeling good for in those other two. So, you know, like the, the whole idea of a holistic way of being is recognizing that your body has an effect, your mind has an effect, your spirit has an effect and all of these things, uh, affect you. And so Beth Ann says quality water exclamation point. Speaking of quality water, I just want to point out that I am drinking nine and a half pH water, uh, from my tap. Um, I have a water filter put in my house and I buy, I have reusable water bottles. And what that allows me to do is carry quality water wherever I go all the time. And I pay 40 bucks a month for a filtration system, a mineralizer. Um, but I spent 50 to 60 bucks in water bottles. So, and that also, but it, not only does it do it for me, but every other family member in my house has the ability to do the same thing now. And they were all spending, you know, 40 bucks on, on, uh, uh, water as well. So, you know, I, I absolutely think staying hydrated is, is definitely, uh, something that you should do. Um, so reading Tim Ferriss's book and, and uh, athletes, um, one of the things they do to keep their energy up, which actually kind of surprised me is when you first wake up in the morning is you want to do some sort of exercise and it's not like going to the gym. It is just a exercise to get your blood circulating. And this has an effect on us for the rest right. of the day. So when you very first wake up, um, whether you brush your teeth first or after, um, you knock out five push ups, 10 push ups, do 10 jumping jacks, um, flutter kicks really doesn't, ma- you, you know, you can do a flutter kick before you get out of the bed. Um, but the point is, is, is you want to do some type of exercise for, for 30 seconds. And apparently that simple, you know, I, these are why I love these hacks is, is every, I, I'm not hearing any excuses from anybody here, which is, is a testament to the quality of the people that I know. Um, but you know, mm. we know there's a lot of people out there be like, Oh, look, man, I ain't got no time for that. I can't find time to even do right. this and et cetera, et cetera. But point is, is some of these hacks are, are nine breaths, 30 seconds, got to have water with you making a better choice that you, you know, you're going to lunch anyway, making a better choice in the food that you eat, um, you know, minimizing the amount of caffeine that you drink um, or, or changing the, the types of caffeine that you drink. Um, you know, these are all just simple life choices. <laughs> they, these are, they, and then, and then they have, um, just, I'm just throwing it out. I operate it on somewhere between four and six hours of sleep. Um, I, I mm-hmm. very seldomly ever sleep eight hours and I can wake up refreshed and I'm so energetic when I meditate that sometimes, uh, if I meditate anytime near bedtime, 10 minute meditation makes me feel like I slept for eight hours. Um, so right. I'm just throwing that out there to people how, how, how wonderful meditation is if you guys are just joining us. Um, so if you're just joining us, uh, I've got jazz on the line. Um, jet, we're going through jazz's day. He's, he's in the evening. This guy works from seven to nine. <laughs> It's just, it's unbelievable. <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it's, and I want to say, and sometimes it's a stressful situation. I know he loves his job and he loves right. the people that he works with, but sometimes he's, he's absolutely stressed out. So what are you doing to med- mitigate Definitely. stress um, while you're at the workplace? Man, oh, that's a good question, man. I'm, I'm blessed enough that I get to actually get paid to go to the gym with them as well. Like right now, even we're on the way to the house and driving and uh, I get a couple of the guys and then we get to go to the gym. So I guess you could say I'm a professional bodybuilder, but uh, I get paid to paid to work out a little bit. So that's always a you know good part throughout the day. But even just some of my coworkers, uh, you know, we, we try to keep it light. We laugh and we joke and some of the clients, we laugh and joke. One of the clients I'm with right now, he actually works on music. And like you said, music is a meditation in, in itself, man, because music can change my mood you know, either, either for the, for the best or for the worst. And usually it's for the best if I put on something, you know, that I'm vibing with or whatever. Music is like extremely important to me, man. If I don't have, you know, the aux cord or Bluetooth in my car, you know, the drive just isn't as good to me, man. Music definitely helps me out. And just, 
being around other people that are, um, you know, vibrate high. You know, I've noticed, you know, surrounding myself with, like I said, some people in early recovery, obviously their vibration is very low, but it's, man, just being around people that are, you know, good, or even if I have to call somebody, like I said, or check out your Facebook page or call my father who vibrates, you know, higher than most people I know. I just make sure I keep in touch with those people. And even sometimes when I, you know, interact with people that are vibrating low and I can, you know, raise their vibration, it also raises my vibration as well because I made their day better and it makes me feel better because I made their day better, if that makes any sense. You know, like that's the, the interaction with people is always big with me. Like I said, it's just, you know, connecting with other, other good souls, other good people like you and a lot of other people I have in my network. It's just, you know, if I'm feeling bad, I just lean on somebody else to lift me up. So, you know, that's, that's big with me, man. Vibrations and vibes and being around other positive people, man. That's that's like probably the number one thing in my life that keeps me happy. And mo- most of all, too, if I'm feeling bad, I call my daughter and she, you know, she FaceTimes me and she talks about the, you know, boy trying to trying to talk to her at school. You know, <laughs> that just makes me happy. You know, cause she's, you know, kids are kids are the best for me, man. I love kids. Mm. Absolutely. And they, they, they have this energy that is just, uh, infectious, but also, uh, refuels our souls and our spirits, you know? Right. Um, and, and so right. I, I'm, I'm really glad that you brought that up actually, because, um, being around people and so it, which it is interesting because here we are in this year, 2020, where, where we've got this thing going on, where we're distancing ourselves from people which is absolutely is, is often one of the things that I tell people uh, to, to help with energy is to hug. And here we are right. just like not doing that. these hugs yet. That. Oh man. It helps. Right. It helps regulate our heart rhythm. Um, it helps re- regulate right. our mind and our heart. Um, you know, so if you're blessed to have somebody in your life that you're, you know, and it's safe for you to hug, man, hug, hug every day, H- hug on the hour. Right. I'm a hugger, <laughs> man. I'm a hugger. <laughs> But, but in the place of that, having conversations and, and calling somebody and reaching out to somebody like that's a hit, man. Like that's, that's it. That's it's, it's, it's absolutely. So one of the things that we find that when we're, 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 uh, looking for energy or striving for energy is, is as human beings, we are, we gather energy from other people and, and, and you know, we've heard, all right. we've all heard of vampires and yeah, vampires exist. They are people who, who drain other people of energy and they just don't give back. Right. And these are the people, Oh, woe is me. I got all these problems. Mm-hmm. And you know, or, or when you're talking, they, they just want to jump back to their problems or they want to bring you to their problems. And you know, they, they, they will suck you into their, their energy. Um, not, not going to go into the whole, but the, they exist. But what happens is, is we can reciprocate energy by uh, wanting to listen to somebody um, and then engaging in what it is that they're talking about versus the next thing that we want to is, is we create this connection. Right. It's a circuit. And as they give us energy, we give them energy. And when we do right. that, we're like, we're, we're rechargeable batteries versus batteries that get thrown away. And, um, so yeah, absolutely connecting with, with high, high vibe, positive energy and high frequency energy people, um, absolutely will help you keep your energy up. They, they will motivate you. They will, um, make you feel happy about yourself and them. And, and, uh, that's why I'm grateful to have you in my life, man, is, is you, you do that for me. Definitely. I just want to quickly, I got to shout out my, my son joined us. What's up, Alex? I got to say hi to my son. Um, glad to see you. On here. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, you just did it right there. Your ex- son, son signed <laughs> on and you got you happy. That was ex- it right there. Exactly. It. <laughs> exactly. Um, so I, I, one more thing that I want to throw out there is, uh, Lisa had mentioned earlier, she was talking about going outside and getting air. Um, the same energy that we get from human beings is that we can actually get from the earth and not, and not have to. Re- so if we're in the state where we don't feel like we can give back or that we feel less than we don't want to be around people, or maybe you just don't have somebody to, to th- that you want to be intimate with, uh, in, in that moment, whatever moment you're in, um, the best thing you can do is go outside, get some sunlight, uh, take your shoes off, put your feet right. in the grass, uh, get grounded, um, recognize a tree. And when I say recognize a tree, I mean actually acknowledge that tree exists. Look at it, check out its branch, its root system, its trunk. You don't have to hug the tree, 
but just acknowledging that the tree exists <laughs> is good enough to, for it to give you energy. Um, you know, was, a lot, people say where your attention goes, energy flows. And uh, right. th- this is not just, you know, a lot of things that I'm, I'm mentioning to you may sound super spiritual, but they're not just metaphysical. These are, this is, uh, this is quantum chemistry and it is a real thing. Um, if you focus on something, you change the way that it interacts with you. And there are electrons and neutrons and protons. And uh, if you're looking at something, the electrons are flowing through your body. And guess what? That's energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so just looking at the, something right. that is living, that has energy, gives you energy. So if we spend our time constantly looking at computers or driving or, you know, these are things that can, can drain us. But on the same note, uh, the ocean, sunrises, sunsets, um, you know, blades of grass, flower and gardening, pets, animals, um, you know, you could be where not to drain your pets too. You know, they just, they, they, they give, those things are dynamos. Pets are dynamos. They just give loving energy, especially dogs and cats. Right. I don't know about so much about goldfish, right. but they do make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy, maybe that's why they don't have such a lifespan. Maybe they're not getting the, the energy back, but, right, right. Um, but I, I love them. So I, I don't want to take up all your time, uh, jazz, but I, so I want to hear about what, what you're doing in the evening when you get home, how, how are you maintaining your energy and are, are you just crashing or what, what's your routine in, into getting home? Man, some days I'm, um, uh, I just make sure I try to decompress when I get home and, you know, check in with my kids and make sure they did their homework and all that. And like we just said, the, the kids always, uh, you know, give me a boost of energy, man, hearing about their day or whatever, and then go home and talk to, to my girlfriend. And she's she's on the same, you know, frequency we are. She does yoga and Reiki. So, you know, we usually just talk about our day. And usually by this time, it's about like 10, 1030 at night. So, Man, sometimes I, I I might even hop on the Xbox or whatever just to you know in me time or you know just to do something I enjoy. That's that's a big with me, man. Self care, just doing something I enjoy. And I saw you even posted me another day about sitting in the car when you pull up outside of your house and just listening to music. That is one of my favorite things to do with a day. Even driving by myself, listening to music, and then I pull up and my favorite song isn't over yet. And that that two or three you know three minutes of just listening to my favorite song in the car and you know, maybe closing my eyes, just looking out the window and just, you know, it, like people think self-care and like taking time for yourself has to be hours. You know, sometimes, man, that five minutes I can squeeze in of me hearing my favorite song and, you know, dissecting the lyrics and listening to all the instruments in, in the song and turning it up nice and loud in my, in my stereo system. Man, that's how I, you know, get, get down and, and decompress for the day, man. Usually by that time I am tired and it is time to rest. And you know, then I think about what I'm going to do the next day and try to, you know, make it positive and what I'm going to train at the gym or, you know, what I'm going to wear tomorrow. I'm a big shoe guy. So I, you know, might even pick out my shoes for the next day. You know, it's just something that I enjoy that makes me happy. You know what I mean, I make sure I end my day with something that makes me happy, whether it's my kids, like I said, or, you know, spending time with my girlfriend or, you know, anything. Just, I just make sure I take, you know, I, I'm kind of selfless the rest of the day. So I make sure when I get home, it's, you know, even if it's only 10 minutes or something that I enjoy doing, you know, I make sure I, we have to be a little selfish and, you know, making ourselves happy. And, you know, I make sure it's, it's something that I want to do and, and try to go to bed with some positive thoughts, you know, say good night and, and make sure people that I love, I just send them a text, hope you had a good day. Like I said, that makes me happy to you know my dad text me back and he might even throw out there, he's proud of me. You know, I always say, I love you is good, but I'm proud of you. That's like higher than I love you. You know what I mean? Like that's, wow. that, that makes my day when somebody I love or admire tells me that they're proud of me, you know, so I make sure. I end my day off with, you know, just some love, you know, love and encouragement. You know, that makes me feel good and sleep better and, you know, just makes you me feel good when I'm, you know, I'm laying in the bed at night. And... <laughs> Jazz. Nice. Yeah, because, you, you, listen, <laughs> you've hit five or six good things. I mean, things that people don't normally think about. But I want to stop you for one second. As you said, yeah. you prepare your clothes for the next day, the day before. Yeah. People don't understand yeah. how much time you give yourself from that. I mean, people do, I guess, but I used to, I used to wear different colored socks, like Argyle kinds of, and I had hundreds of them and I would spend 15 minutes right. trying to pair of socks every day. Cause I'm, I'm notoriously bad for folding clothes the day after or right after I wash. Them. <laughs> so now right, right. I, I, I wear black Nike socks and I own 
50 pairs of them and it's the only socks that I, I mean, I have dress socks, but I don't wear those every day and I never have to look for, and and before that I had Nike socks that had left and right on the sock and the same thing. I had to pair them like crazy and I hate that. So I I had to, well, I don't hate anything, but um, I found that it didn't work very well (laughs) for me and I was spending a lot of time figuring that out. Um, So a a lot of people who know me know that I wear a lot of black and gray, um, and it's because I don't, I, I, I get inundated looking for colors and how I feel and how they're supposed to match up with my day. And, um, so I, mm-hmm. I just really, um, I, I don't struggle to dress myself anymore, <laughs> but, uh, but I do try right, to plan, right. but if, if I'm going to work, if I'm going out of the house, if I have plans to be anywhere, I definitely do it the day before. Um, something I learned as a kid mm-hmm. from my stepfather, mm-hmm. he always set out his clothes the day before and, and my uncles, I, I have uncles, they all do the same thing. And it, 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 it puts you in a frame of mind of being prepared for your day. Um, and it'll right, you. so right. anything you can do for yourself, the next day in today, if you have the energy and the time you're, you're giving yourself a head start mm-hmm. and you're, you're, you're filling in right. the gaps for all the times that you need, you know, those little extra energies. Um, and then the other thing you, you mentioned, um, telling somebody you're proud of them. Wow. Like, mm-hmm. and, and then, and then, and you said it like it, it's, it's a step up above telling somebody you love, I love you. Um, I've recognized right. that in our, this generation or this time, the zeitgeist, the spirit of the times, we have changed the way that we talk drastically and we have some bad habits and the mm-hmm. things that we say. And, and one of the things that I find is that we say, thank you very much um, right. as the norm. So what happened to thank you? Is thank you not good enough anymore? <laughs> so <laughs> right, I so like if that. I tell somebody thank you, do they <laughs> feel like I didn't thank them enough? If somebody did something for right. me, gave me something, do I have to say thank you very much? Um, you know, and, and I find that like, that's just a lot of people do it as a habit. Um, so I'm kind of a stickler mm-hmm. in, in keeping it simple. I love, I love you. I love, um, thank you and tell it. And then complimenting somebody on something so simple as I'm proud of you, that change, that's a life changing statement people when you tell somebody you're proud right. of them they will uh, they, they will believe it they will um carry it with them especially if you tell a child you're proud of them they mm-hmm. they will they Definitely. will now try to do more things to make you proud and it's right. it's right. i mean so you know I, i'm glad you brought that up because yeah man I, I love you is those are the up here, man. But then to think about it, what you can do mm-hmm. for a person by telling them something as simple as impr- now, if we talking about giving energy, man, that's, that's giving energy for sure. Cause that's not, they're going to, that's right. going to carry with them for the next hour. And, and, and they'll have a memory to remember back. Oh, I remember when that's, t- and I'm tough, man. I, I know that I'm tough on, uh, uh, family members, kids, people around me. Like I have high standards and you know, you got to do a lot to get a comp to tip for me to say I'm a proud. So I work on that. I really need, and it's not that I'm not proud of people. I'm proud of people for doing the most simplest things. Um, I just don't right. say it enough. I really need to remember to say it to people. So sweet. And then is, is there anything that you're doing to, to supplement, to help you rest better through the evening? Man, I'm, I'm I mean, I haven't been having trouble with sleeping lately. So I guess, you know, I haven't really been doing anything to uh, to help. So I've been sleeping like a baby, man, with those long seven or fourteen hour days, man. I, I pretty much go home and I, I can sleep pretty good, man. I can, I can, I can sleep pretty well. Nice. Um, so I I'm going back to to um, Tim Ferriss's book, um, and, which is Tools for Titans, which is 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 a a, a culmination of all his years doing podcast interviewing the, some of the most successful people in the world, uh, if not all the most successful people in the world. Um, mm-hmm. and there's a, and, and tools for Titans is all the commonalities of what people use, um, to help them function better. And the one, one of the commonalities that came up more than anything in this book, except for meditation and making their bed, the two, the two things that, all successful people seem to do is they meditate and they make their bed. 
<laughs> first thing in the morning. Right. Um, the other thing is, is a cooling pad, um, which is something I haven't used yet and I haven't tried. Um, but it's something that, that you put in your bed and it allows you to adjust the temperature of where you're sleeping. So, you know, some people mm. can't fall asleep when their pillow's too hot or got to flip the pillow. You know, that's that with the hot, the hot side of the cool side right. of the pillow kind of thing. Um, regulating your body temperature can make people fall asleep 10 to 15 minutes earlier and stay asleep. So if anybody out there is having issues sleeping, uh, I highly recommend trying to get a cooling or not trying going and getting a cooling pad. Apparently there, you can buy them on Amazon and there is normally as, as the show goes on in the future, I will put links up to the things that I want to talk about and then you can guys can look them up. Um, and I will put this video up on YouTube. So, uh, when you guys ever want to check it back, we can see all the links to all the things that we've discussed in this show. Um, and another one is, is that I found is this drug called a natural drug called melatonin. If anybody hasn't tried it, mm -hmm. um, it's a natural sleeping pill. Um, and it's, it's, uh, I think, um, supposed to get eight hours. I, I've used it two or three times in my life. Um, and I've gotten eight hour sleep and I slept like I took a sleeping pill, but it was natural and I didn't feel any side effects. Um, and I've talked with many right. doctors about it and they're all, you can take as much as you want. It's not going to affect you too much. You may become a little dependent on it, but you, it's one of those, your body makes it naturally. Um, so it's not like it's really messing with your, um, dopamine and serotonin receptors, which can cause all kinds of mood swings and depression and anxiety, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. Um, so your body kind of regulates it pretty well. So, uh, a lot of people swear by that. So I'm just throwing that out there. If anybody has any, it needs to get that rest. It's a natural thing. You can buy it over the counter. I think you can even buy it at the, uh, uh gas stations now. Um, so just throwing that out there. So man, jazz, it sounds like you've got your ish together and you are living mindfully. <laughs> I'm trying, and, man. And, bro, I, I'm giving you the seal of approval. You're a conscious brother, man. That means you're awake and aware. That's why you get one of these T-shirts. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. And it, it's funny, man. The universe makes no mistakes because I saw you, you know, you were uh, advertising that you were going to come on at 11-11. And I usually, you know, like you said, I've been looking at my phone for the past year, you know, seeing the, the, the uh, synchronicities. And then it's funny, I, I usually am busy at work, and then I wasn't today. And, you know, the universe makes no mistakes. And then it popped up with the notification. I said, let me hear what my good brother has to say, man. And then it was just, the universe makes no mistakes, man. Like, I needed to, to hear you speak. I needed to, to hear everything that you said. It was just, I'm not even, like, uh, surprised anymore by coincidences. You know, the universe makes no mistakes, man. And I'm just, I'm all for the universe now, man, because there was no mistake that I was even, had the free time to talk to you and, just the things that we discussed, man. It was just, I mean, this just made my day. I'll, I'll, I'll put that, you know, this made my day, man. It really did. So, so the, this, this low, uh, this side, the, the, this logo that's behind me is, is a, it's called a threefold flame and it represents our mind, body, okay. spirit. And this little diamond that's over here inside is, is, is a pyramid facing up and a pyramid facing down, which is again, is, uh, uh, our soul. It, it's representative of the three parts of our psyche and the three parts of our physical right. body and coming together. And, um, you know, we become in tune when we're consciously connected. That thing in the middle is called a philosopher stone. It's basically when we're philosopher stone for anybody is this, uh, alchemical symbol that people when when they found this they were supposed to be able to turn lead into gold well it's 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 a metaphor mm. for being able to turn yourself into lead into gold and it's a recognizing that mm. your, that your mind and your body and your spirit have to come together um to to have a good body a good mind or a good spirit otherwise they're going to be thrown out of whack and and uh brother it sounds, mm. it sounds like you've you know, you have the philosopher's stone in your life and uh, you're, you're living it. Huh. And I'm glad that you were able to share with the awake and aware community. Like I said, man, you're, you're, you're a conscious brother. Um, I'm, I'm going to have you on, one day. I'm going to sit down and interview on the show as well. And listen, man, one day I'm going to have you come over here, sit in the seat with me, man. And, and uh, 
I was going to say that she looks people. comfy, man. She looks real comfy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's even got a little rock on it, so you know, um, for sure, man. <laughs> happy to have you. You know, and, and and the other thing is, man, like you're a music lover, and uh, uh, I want to compile some lists Definitely. of like really good music that helps people energetically as well. Because I'm one of those people too. I listen to music for energy and to to keep my rhythm flow throughout the day, man. But I'm not going to take up any more nice. your time, Jazz, man. I, I'm super happy for that. You're grateful. I want you to message me um, your your uh, contact information and your address, and I'm going to get you one of these snazzy shirts for Jazzy Jeff. Definitely, man. I'm a rapper, I'm a rapper proud, too, man. I That's appreciate you, man. I too. appreciate you, man. All right, brother, man. You have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. Definitely, man. You too, brother. All right. Ciao. All right, guys, man. So th- this has been. I- I'm. Uh, I'm gonna. I've enjoyed doing this so much. This, this, so if you guys are just joining us or been here, I'm going to run through some of the, the things that I've seen in the chat room too. Um, I'm Nick Angel. This is Awake and Aware. And um, we've been talking about how to keep your energy up throughout the day. L- thing, little tips, tricks, life hacks, uh, and different things that can keep us feeling good, keep other people feeling good. And, uh, man, I-, I felt the love and the positivity of everybody that showed up here today. And uh, it's amazing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back on again tonight since it's 11, 11, and I'm going to come back on at 11, 11 on 11, 11. And we're going to do it again and I'm going to have a different show. And that way I'm going to give somebody else another chance to uh, call in and get another one of these really cool shirts. It's an awake and aware matrix. As you see, it's awake and it's aware, right? Or actually I might, I might have a different shirt for 11 11 this evening so you have another chance to get one and i appreciate all them hearts so my man uh vincent said uh my pet peeve is holding the door for someone as i always do and never getting a smile or even a thank you i know to have zero expectations but still yeah man expectations are tough right and yeah that is i mean really like is it gonna hurt somebody to just say thank you but you know we, we we thinking about it is What's that person's day like? What's really going on with them? What, 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 what's going on with them? Are, are, has somebody hurt them? Did somebody kick their dog? Maybe they're just feeling not good in life. You know, may, maybe, maybe somebody beat them up after saying thank you. <laughs> um, you know, you just never know. Um, but, you know, the, the beauty of it is the way to keep your energy, though, is to still keep holding them doors open for people with zero expectations. That's how you keep your energy at a high level and you keep it moving. And, and the beauty is when you stop having expectations, man, the right people will come to the door. And they're, they're like I, 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 we here in New Jersey, if you guys don't know, I'm back in New Jersey and um, we have this store called Wawa. And I tell you what, people fight to open the door for people at Wawa. It's the craziest. It's the, it's the one most one. It may just be when I'm there. I don't know. But that's what I see all the time. Every time I go into Wawa. Listen, it's COVID, man. I don't even want to touch the door. And people are falling all over themselves to open the door for people. And I absolutely love it. And I think it's the coolest thing, man. And, and, and the beauty is, in life, if you have an opportunity to do something for somebody else that takes nothing from you, do it. Like, why wouldn't you do it? Like that, that's, you know, it, it, it's funny. Um, there's this adage. I don't know if I can remember the adage, but the principle is it, it's, it's doing something for somebody else gives you something as, in return. But the trick is, is that you have to do it for them without expecting anything in return. And I, I think they call it altruism. And, um, when you do that without expecting you, you get something, but you can't expect anything and you can't be looking for it. And if it's not showing up in your time, you just got to still do stuff. Um, something happened to me the other day. Uh, I went to a store and like, I wasn't going to tell the story and I'm not going to tell the story, but I, I had the opportunity to, to, to be charitable and, 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 but it was very like my man jazz brought up synchronicity I like to call them coincidences um, instead of coincidences. And it's, it's funny. I'm just going to break off just for a second is we use this word synchronicity, which was coined by a guy named Carl Jung, um, a philosopher, a philosopher and psychologist. Um, And his meaning of synchronicity really does not mean what, how we use it. It means two things that have nothing to do with each other happening at the same time. So, it's just a timing thing from the way Carl Jung put it. But I think the way that 
we interpret synchronicity today in the spirit of these times is it's two things happening at the same time that somehow have some meaning together and that we are interpreting the meaning between the two. Um, some people say that's dangerous, but I think it's not. I think it's a sign. Um, I, and from my research, it's not to get hung up in the synchronicity, um, but to recognize that you are in alignment and there's other good things going on and going to happen when you're starting to notice the synchronicities. And it's just to, to be open to, to what's going on around you and your good energy. And, and it's also a reminder to if your energy is not in the best place to do what you can to bring it up. Uh, some future episodes, I'm going to talk about some emotional scales that will help uh, a person bring their energy up and bring you into a better frame of mind. Um, if you joined us later in the show earlier, very early on in the show at 1111, we did a mindfulness tech technique called PIF, 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 PIF PFT, which is, uh, it's, it's mine. Uh, and don't go looking for it. I, I own your PFT and your perfect feeling thought.com already. Um, but your perfect feeling thought it's a simple thing where you can take just a couple seconds and get piffed and go just fine and listen i have never yet to this day found anything that makes me feel better than searching for my perfect feeling thought and, and to me it's like hitting the lottery because i can go buy whatever i want in my mind and it's just a, a technique to i can go be on a yacht with all the people that i love and have all the resources and just spend a couple minutes into that moment. Or, you know, some people aren't really good at, at, at visualizing, which is fine, because then you can just reach for the perfect feeling emotion. And if that's just love or somebody loving you or having somebody to love or a pet, you can spend time with that. Or, or better yet, if you've had somebody that's passed away, you can just take a moment and, and remember them or even visualize if you're good at visualizing, you know, still spending time or, or having living in that memory. And in these things, man, they make me feel good. And in that bringing my feelings up changes my frequency. I notice the people that interact with me uh, um, are receiving me better because I'm putting out better energy. And um, this keeps me awake and aware and more conscious. All of these things work together. That's that's the, the holism, holism. Um, it's a funny word because some people spell it whole W H O L I S I M or whole H O L I S I M. They mean exactly the same thing. doesn't matter how you spell it. Um, but it's funny to me. I use the W because a holism is a whole something missing. Whereas whole is everything's there. So, um, thank you for wishing me or wishing everybody happy veterans day are, um, glad you joined us, man. Um, so anybody got any questions for me, um, or anything they want to share in the, in the chat room? Um, and if anybody even said they wanted to call in, I might hang out for a few more minutes. Um, nice Kara. It's a pleasure, man. I'm glad you joined. I'm glad you joined us. Um, and I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you got something out of it. And it, 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 the cool thing is having a, so the ancient term for what we're doing is called having a salon. <laughs> so I got to go to the salon today, even though I don't have any hair. Um, so those, those of you who haven't seen me in a while and yeah, I cut off all my hair last month. Let's see throughout my day. I lack my energy and sometimes I can't get out of that. Yeah. Well, um, so start implementing some of the things that we talked about today, even the simple ones, like, of course, cause the breathing technique, I don't know if you were here for the breathing technique, it's a nine stage breathing te or, or it's nine breaths. That's it. And it can change you for, for a good time. Upper breath into the chest, out to the mouth and then the chest into the ribs, expand your ribs out to the mouth and then in through the belly out to the mouth do that again three times and i promise you your energy <laughs> it's like drinking a cup of coffee and it lasts it's lasting it does you, you don't feel uh you know 20 minutes from that i feel that in my i took three breaths and i can feel that in my neck my back and my spine oh well i'm gonna th those te tears are good energy too that's cathartic so I'm not going to say, uh, I'm sorry you cried. I am going to say, I am happy you cried and say that is cathartic. 
Uh, cathartic means that uh, you let off some steam. It's relieving to you. Um, glad that you're here. Absolutely. Let's see. Art said, love the mindfulness discussion. I love my routine. Peaceful most days. So I love peaceful days. Um, and But sometimes... What about when I can't have those peaceful days? They cause me stress because I'm so in wanting the peaceful day. You know, like a peaceful day is a hit. And uh, for a t- long time, I struggled because I always wanted peace. I always wanted to pe- find, have a peaceful day and everything is just quiet or going my way. But what about those times when it's not peaceful? What are you supposed to do then? You know, so that's something we, we will talk about on how to deal with the days that aren't peaceful or the, the days that are stressful so you can keep the uh, good energy the high frequency and the wavy vibes this has been absolutely wonderful so it's 12 38 i think i'm i'm gonna uh so we got an 11 11 so this is going i had originally intended to go for an hour but it's been exactly that's a whole discussion exactly yes it is sir um so just to recap a little bit, we talked about food, we talked about meditation, we've talked about water, we've talked about air, um, we've talked about complimenting people, doing good things. See, and, and the thing is, it, it was what's funny is each one of these things can be elaborated on for vast amounts of time. So we will never run out of topics. We will never run out of solutions. Um, we will, There, there is just as much there's i believe there's more positivity and then there is negative negativity in the universe and most scientists would agree with me um because everything shares the same electrons so there are less electrons in the universe than there are protons which means the whole universe is positive so that means just from an energy standpoint that means that it wants to get behind you it wants to help you the universe is a positive place there's negative stuff going on but listen i think if you don't know the more you focus on positivity the more you get the more you focus on negativity the more you get so let's see carrot says i always wonder about people that are always so peaceful and balanced do they ever yell or get mad or sad i would love to use a lot of these tips to help me to feel balanced throughout the day. Listen, that's, that's, that's a balanced question right there. So, um, some people, when they hear my Siri, it's a dude and they ask me, why, why do you have a guy Siri? Well, that's because when I get upset with Siri, (laughs) I don't want anybody to hear me yelling at a woman. So I am straight cussing out Siri all the time. (laughs) Um, and then a friend of mine posted her the other day that she has some issues when, when traffic, yeah, blow your horn at me and see how spiritual I am. <laughs> I'm like, I wish, I wish an MF would. <laughs> hey, Melody. Thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, you know, listen, spirituality, that does not mean that you are constantly in a Zen state does not mean that you are are just going to put on a robe and sandals and walk around and bless people all day. Um, one of my favorite sayings that anybody has ever told me was, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. That means we got to deal with the day-to-day stuff, even if you're enlightened, even if you're spiritual. You still got to deal with traffic. You still got to deal with other people's problems. You got to p- deal with people projecting their energy on you. You got to deal with people misinterpreting you. But also on the same note is you can keep well, this whole thing is about keeping your energy through those moments, staying balanced when they happen. So staying balanced does not, does not mean shifting when the energy shifts. Sometimes, it, it, I mean, it can and that's a useful tool in some situations too but generally if you want to stay in your peaceful state it's learning how to keep yourself flowing um when when we're tried when when we're tested um or the trials or hurdles um so you know i'm glad that you're here i'm glad that you're going to get some tools because listen over the coming up i'm going to be some sharing some serious stuff with you guys um that's been life-changing for me that i found and listen 
I, I'm no guru. Um, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. Uh, I have had ups and downs. I'm not perfect any, at anything. Like I said, yeah, I, I, I get upset. I, I'm cr- Listen, don't feed me. I get cranky. I get hangry. <laughs> so, but this is, but knowing that is something that I can counteract by, I keep snacks around. I have nuts and cherry, dry cherries, and uh, I keep dark chocolate on hand. I have raw honey. Sometimes I just stick a a spoonful of honey in my mouth because I need that sugar rush. Um, You know, and then the other thing is, is not eating things that will make you crash, that you know they're going to make you crash. Because when those, you get cranky, you know, when you're, when you're not feeling your best. So it's, it's, and listen, pick one thing. Pick one thing and stick with it. Like if it's if it's the breath thing, if it's uh, hydrating more, getting good water, doesn't matter what it is. Pick one thing you heard from today and put that in. Implement that. Um, we will we will definitely go over a bunch of the stuff that we went over before. We will elaborate in the stuff that that uh, as time goes on, as as this community grows, uh, and I, I have some very special people coming up who are who are gurus who are. Uh, at the pinnacle of life and have helped tens of thousands of people find mindfulness, uh, uh, pe- peaceful states, energy, uh, uh, yoga, um, peace practices, um, things that can heal um, and uh, um, through, you know, things like Reiki, you know, some of the people I intend to bring on are even in the show right now. And, you know, it, it just shows like what a wonderful community this is going to be it, or already is, um, you know, and, and think about it. Like we, we can make all the jokes we want. This is a conscious community. It's awake and aware. That's exactly what it is, you know? And, um, we're certainly all awake. We're all, we're certainly all aware. And there are different layers of that. So don't ever believe or don't think that, you know, because you haven't sat in a temple with Buddhist monks and chanted, uh, uh, nam yum ring kyo for, for 20 hours that you aren't any bit as enlightened as anybody else, because I promise you, you're more enlightened than somebody was a hundred years ago. They didn't have Google. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have the ability to watch something like this. They didn't have a quantum computer in their pocket. Um, you know, most of us are alive past the average life expectancy from 400 years ago. So we are all hurdling trials and tribulations. But what we're often still doing, though, is using tools from our past that are no longer serving us. And that's what causes a lot of uh energy traps in our lifetimes today is that we are still using old tools or we're using the same tool over and over and over and over again and expecting different results. So, you know, that's what I intend to share and, and also gain. Listen, I learned a lot today too. Like this was, um, you know, the, the whole thing about saying I'm proud of somebody like I'm proud you're here. Kara, please. You got a question. Shoot. What you got? It's good because now I can take a sip of water. And listen, guys, when people put questions in here, you guys are welcome to answer them too. This is not just what does Nick think about everything. This is a community. How can you get over something that comes to mind that is negative? Ooh wee! This is one. This is fun for me. Great question. Absolutely great question. Uh, so comes to mind often and then puts me in a bad state of mind. So I have this tool that I use called rolling positives. First off, I want to tell you human nature is to look for the negative. It's what keeps us safe. We look for things that could hurt us. We look for things that, that may be out to get us. We look for things that, that may not have our best interest. That's what keeps us safe. That's how we got to these uh, uh, old living selves that we are. Um, So recognize that as your natural state. So don't feel bad about it when it happens first off. Don't beat yourself up over it. Next thing is recognizing that all negatives aren't actually negative. They're just not serving you in the moment. Like taking away something can be good and gaining something can be good. So... It just may not be serving you at that moment of time. So you have to recognize that 
your way of thinking about something that is negative, it's only negative for that moment of time. Now, of course, there can be something that we would all consider like death, but a lot of people believe that's a positive and, and a celebration because death of things is just the beginning of something new or an open door. But let me tell you about rolling positives and, and give you an example of how you can uh, quickly change your mind and start getting positive thoughts again. So as a kid, I had this uh, thing that I used to do. I used to flip my bicycle upside down and spin the tire. And I remember, and I would try to make it go as fast as I could just by smacking the tire and spinning it with my hand. And then I would try to make it stop with my hand, which usually hurt. But I recognized that I couldn't just put my hand on it and stop it. Even if I grabbed it, it would still rip my skin a little bit. So what I realized I had to do is I had to slow it down first and then bring it to a complete stop. But even at a complete stop, I have not gone positive. All I've done is stop focusing on the negative. Then if I wanted to go positive, I would have to spin it in the other direction slowly first and then add momentum to it to get it going fast. That is physics. And that is a law in our universe. That is a scientific law. That doesn't mean it's absolute everywhere. But as a scientific law, energy has to dissipate from one direction to another before it can pick up and change directions. So that means you have to slow yourself down and recognize that if you've got something that's coming to you over and over again, you can try to reach for a better thought. But it's not always going to be easy because you've got momentum going in the other direction. So what has to happen is this is not a snap your fingers fix. This is reach for something that you know is positive. And here's the thing to, to you and almost all for me, it's rainbows. I reach for the rainbow. That's it. Like I just think of a rainbow and I'm thinking positive thoughts. And the next thing I know, I'm in a glen in a valley with grass and unicorns and butterflies and pretty flowers and lots of sunshine. Doesn't mean anything. I don't have to acknowledge it. It's not asking me any questions. I don't have to give it anything. And it may dissipate and I may go back to that negative thought. But guess what I do now? Reach for another one. What this is doing, it's slowing down me thinking about the negative thought. Once you slow down, there you go. Angels. Absolutely. Think about their, however you think about them. Their wings, their halos, watching over us. Um, however it is that that angels come to you. Um and, and exactly. So if you're capable of interrupting those thoughts, well, if you're interrupting it, you're slowing it down. You're starting to find the balance, but then it will become easy to stop, which will then allow you to, but see right before you actually stop as, cause this is a mental exercise versus actual physical energy. You will start to be offered in your mind, new thoughts that are positive. So if you think about positive thoughts, where are they coming from? Do you have to go fill out a questionnaire to get your thoughts? No. Do you have to call somebody up and be like, hey, I want a bunch of positive thoughts? No. <laughs> they come to you and it's kind of like a movie screen. It's kind of like you have a snippet of old school film and there's like four frames and if you all of them are negative right you just got to change one and give it a positive now what happens going to spin by you're going to get three more negatives one positive choose the positive again and guess what now you're going to get two negatives two positives choose another positive now you're going to get three positives and a negative now your life you're being presented with more positive thoughts that's how it works it's the same thing as that's just another analogy i like to use the film script and i call this rolling positives like as you roll film you get negative thoughts well put a positive one in it doesn't matter how simple it is the more you add to it the more your mind your brain your subconscious will give you new positive thoughts and that's called rolling positives. Now, here's the thing is, is remember I told you that your natural state, your natural state is to have negatives. Well, guess what? All your life, you have at some point in time chosen. Remember, these aren't negatives. These are just things that aren't you're, what you're saying is negative is something that's not serving you in this moment in time. So it may later and your your brain, your subconscious knows that it has before. So it's still going to prevent you present you with negative. If you had no negatives, you wouldn't be able to change your mind. 
So negative thoughts are our bonuses. So you're having a negative thought when you say you want to change your mind. But if you like what you got, be grateful for it. And that's what keeps more positive flowing. So if you add gratitude in there, find something you're grateful for. Something we didn't talk about was the gratitude journaling, which I am going to get to. We will do a whole show on gratitude and uh, the benefits of journaling. Um, but one of the, so I tell you right now, Kara is I would suggest a gratitude journal and throughout the day, you write down 10 things that you're grateful for. Now in that process, you will realize it's very difficult to have negative thoughts. (laughs) And as you implement that, you will start to have more positive thoughts. So if you realize I didn't tell you to take all these things and do these things, do one of these things and stick with it. And guess what? It's just like you just added a new frame on your four reel uh, film strip just by choosing one of these things. By wanting to do one of these things, you will continue to get more options now that you can add in more things until you get to that three in one ratio of good to negative thoughts. And that's what we do. Well, that's what I do um, for keeping things positive. Man, it's been a lot of love showed up in this. And and, and, and I'm amazed and I'm grateful how many of you guys jumped on because there's a few people I told that I was going to do this. I haven't advertised this. Um, I have not put this out. I haven't told anybody that I was going to do this. And I, I was a little hesitant because I'm kind of a perfectionist. I really wanted to have uh, my co-host here. Um, I really wanted to have a whole bunch of other things and a bunch of graphics and stuff. And I was hesitant about doing this and I was just going to keep procrastinating and putting it off. And I wanted to, to commit to this and what better time to have started at 11, 11 on 11, 11. So, you know, I'm really glad you guys are part of this. Uh, hope that if you, if I'm, I am going to do this again at 11, 11 tonight. So if you're just joining us, uh, you'll be able to watch this on Facebook. It will be here to play again. And I will be back at 11, 11 tonight on 11, 11. We're going to do it again. And I will be giving you one, a, one of these pretty sway awake and aware t-shirts. And, um, it may be a different style awaken aware shirt, but I will be giving away a shirt. All you have to do is be the first caller since it is 11, 11. I'm not, I could be like the 11th caller, but no, we'll, we'll, we'll take the one. All right, guys. So I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I'm going to hit you guys with, uh, I'm grateful for you guys. I love you guys. And guess what? I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you guys that you guys wanted to, uh, supplement your energy. I'm proud. I'm proud of you for supporting somebody in your community. And I, like I said, I love you guys, all of you. Thanks for making this enjoyable and I feel really good. So this, is this for me is energetic for me. Like this is, this is it. I like, there's nothing more I like in life is, is sharing the things that I found that have made my life better. That's it. That's my hit. All right, guys, I am going to head out. I'm going to hit you with the same intro and I will have an outro for you guys later, but you're going to get the intro. I'm up.